Okay, so today I'm here to do the favorites of 2016. Is that, I don't even fucking know what to call it. Basically, I've seen everyone going through and saying their favorite products from 2016, and I decided that I wanted to do it. I feel like this video is gonna be so um, obvious <laughs> for my favorite things. If you watch my other videos, you'll probably know everything that I already love, but why not just make a full video for everything? I just wanna like state the fact that these products didn't like come out in 2016. This is just when I found them and started loving them so they're not like all new but what i did was just like went through every category of what i put on my face and if anything stood out enough for me to want to talk about it then i'm putting it in this video i just wanted to say that my makeup is a little odd today because i just filmed a first impression video on a bunch of new makeup that i had and it was yellow and blue and weird color so that's why this turned out like this but if you want to see that video then it'll probably be out after this one which is dumb but uh, it's probably gonna happen like that because i want to upload this one soon so that it'll still make sense for like the whole favorites from 2016 or whatever you want to call this video. But the video on this look will be coming out soon enough. I don't really know if you care much about the look other than the fact that I tried new products in that video, but it'll, it'll be here eventually. So yeah, I guess we can just go ahead and get started. So let's start with brows. And I wanted to talk about the Laura Geller Brow Sculpting Marker in the shade Self Charcoal. I don't use this that often in my videos. Usually I use this if I just want to do my brows as quick as possible. I think that this one's running out of color, which I've been saying forever because not much comes off of it. I feel like more used to come off. Because my brows are tattooed on, all I really need to do is just go over them with this and it darkens them. And I love this color because it's like, it's like a gray black color, which is great. And it's like, even though this is a marker, it's so not harsh. Every other marker that I have for my brows is so intense. And this one is just like, perfect for me to just like go over super fast. I don't know. I love it and I use it all the time. And maybe you would love it too. It has like a little tri-tip thing. Don't know if you can see it. Um, that doesn't really matter to me. <laughs> I guess it can kind of, you know, make hair like strokes, but for me I just like color in my whole brow with it really fast. Okay, the next product I want to talk about, I don't even know where the fuck it went. I just lost it like two days ago. Still haven't found it. I've looked everywhere, but it's the L'Oreal Brow Stylist in the shade Dark Brunette, I think. It's in the darkest shade. I love that brow pencil. It's probably my favorite micro brow pencil I've tried, and I've tried a lot. It's the perfect consistency, so it's not like so soft that it's like crumbly or like messy, but it's not so hard that it is like, that it's not like putting product on. <laughs> I don't know, it's just like perfect. And the color of it is so nice because since I have black hair, I like my brows to be pretty much black. And that, the color of that is very much like a cool toned dark brown to where it looks almost black on my brow. So I don't know. I love it. It's great. Okay, um, for eyeshadow, I've got three palettes. First off, I found this baby and I fell in love. This is Urban Decay Electric Palette, obviously. I feel like I'm so late to the fucking bus. Late to the bus on this one because everyone loved this already, but I love it so much. This is the best colorful eyeshadow I've ever used in my life. It is perfection. Every single shade is perfection. And I just feel like it's really hard to find colorful eyeshadows that are good quality and have like great pigmentation to them. And are, I don't even know, these are just perfect. If you need colorful eyeshadows, get this. And I'm pretty sure it's always like half off now or something because of Urban Decay coming out with the new full spectrum. I feel like this has been on sale a lot, so you should totally get it. And then I just basically love all matte nude eyeshadow palettes. So I have two that I love. The Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye, Eye Contour Palette, obviously. I mean, these are just so obvious. <laughs> this is what it looks like. It's fantastic. I love it because it has like warm, neutral and cool. No, cool and neutral tones. I don't know. It has like sections for each different type of tones you want, but they're all matte and that makes me so happy. It's not my favorite formula though. My favorite formula is a the rock formula. Uh, this is a little rock. Blah, 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 blah. This is a little rock pro matte eyeshadow palette. It's tiny, but I love it. These shades, these brown ones, I don't really use it, pink ones, but like these are the best thing ever if you love matte nude eyeshadow colors. Like you can even see giant dents in these where I've been using them so often. Okay, for eyeliner, I found this little gem. This is a Milani Stay Put Matte 17-Hour Wear Liquid Eyeliner. I love this eyeliner. It is so matte and black. The most matte and black eyeliner that I've ever found. I honestly do not love the applicator on it. I can work with it, 
but it is a weird felt tip thing which is so not cool i wish it was a little brush but it's not with this being like a weird nub tip it makes it kind of hard to apply this but i can make it work and i know that everybody loves the nyc uh, eyeliner liquid eyeliner thing this one is supposed to be you know it's like super matte is what everyone says <laughs> because i feel like it's rare to find a matte liquid liner even if i'm looking drugstore or high end i just feel like it's hard to find this one is but i hate hate the applicator on this the brush is like a square it doesn't even come to a point and then this is too long just i cannot put on eyeliner with something that is this long i don't know why i've tried i don't know why i keep coughing <coughs> this gets me so worked up but i've tried to use this and it's just the the applicator the length of the brush thing is impossible so since this one is so much like tinier in there it makes it so much easier for me for mascara i just want to mention my essence lash princess mascara for the eight million time I, I feel like this i say this so often those words in my brain get said so often but this is the best mascara i've ever used for my lower lashes specifically because it's just like boom boom done like it's just like it takes like two seconds you just like go over them and they're like bam in your face they look like spider lashes so, i mean that sounds bad but they just like very like long and voluminous really fast i do like it for my top lashes too but it can get clumpy super fast if you put on more than one layer usually it basically gets really clumpy so just be careful if you want to use it for your top lashes but i mean it still looks really good up there too i also wanted to mention the ColourPop cream gel liquid no cream gel eyeliners these are the pot ones these are the pencil ones i love this formula for your waterline <laughs> uh, and also these work great as bases too but for your waterline these stay so amazingly and they're so opaque they're just the best thing i've ever found and there are so many pretty colors in this i have like a ridiculous amount of them but i will suggest get the fucking pot ones i've said this before don't waste your time on these one i feel like this would take me a million years to go through this i go through super fast i'm pretty sure i've already went through one of them another thing is these okay these might get a little bit dry because they're in these pots i might cause an issue just put some kind of oil in it probably that would help but these bad boys okay half the time i open them and then the fucking pencil part just comes out the other half of the time they are just like super soft and will break so i just do not recommend these i think that the packaging on these is really bad for lashes, Salon Perfect 614. These are my favorite lashes ever. You can get them at Walmart in this five pack for $10. They, okay, I used to love the Kiss Number 11 lashes, which I mean, I still love them, but they are more natural. These are basically just like them, except longer, so they look a little bit more dramatic, kind of. But they're not like insanely dramatic. It's just great. These are my favorite. If you've never tried them, you should try them because they just look really pretty on your lashes. For face primer, all I want to do is say Ulta Fabulous Face Foundation Primer. <laughs> I've said this so many times in my life. I don't know why. This is my favorite primer. It is very silicone -y. It's pure silicone, I feel like. It, I don't know. It, it's my go-to. If I don't want to like think about what primer to use, I just go to that one. And it works great and it like fills in my smile lines and my wrinkles and stuff so that they don't get like horrible throughout the day. I feel like it helps with that plus it's just like a great simple base i have a bunch of other primers i've tried a lot of primers in my in my days but a lot of them give me issues with um clogging my pores or i think giving me acne this one doesn't <laughs> for sure this one doesn't because i use it the most for foundation i'm sorry that the foundation i love the most is super expensive but nars all day luminous weightless foundation Mine's in the shade Fiji, is it? Yes. Favorite foundation ever. <laughs> I don't even like hear anybody talk about this foundation. I know this isn't like a new foundation, but I've never really heard anyone say that they love this, but oh my God, it is my favorite thing ever. I had to put glue all around the top of it because it was leaking, but it is super thin, but super good coverage, super good staying power, just, perfection in a bottle it's my favorite i just love it so much it's my baby for concealer let's just go ahead and say it tart shape tape everybody everybody that i've watched do this video says tart shape tape 
Mine's in the shade Fair. I love this shade because it's super light. It's the lightest concealer that I have, so it's great for whenever I'm super pale. I know they just came out with new shades, I think, and everybody says how hard this is to get. It's never been hard for me to get. Okay, I've only got it one time. That sounds stupid. When I got it, though, it was super easy. So maybe I got it before all the hype. Um, I probably did. I got it, like, right when it came out. It just looks great on. That's all I have to say, and it blends out amazingly. But something I love just as much as that is my Catrice liquid camouflage high coverage concealer if you don't want to spend a bunch of money on concealer try this one uh this shade is where's the shade porcelain 010 i love this shade it is i mean right now i wouldn't use it because i'm super pale but can you see it right there it's like it's a very light beigey shade it's not yellowy it's not pink it's just like the perfect tone it blends out super amazingly and easily and it just looks beautiful these two I think are, I don't think they're similar, but I just love them both to an equal amount, so. So for face powder, I'm just gonna say Rimmel Stay Matte. I love this powder. I don't think I've ever used a powder that could beat this, and I don't even know why, like why I should try other powders, because this one is so cheap and so good. Like why go find another one that's expensive that I'm gonna have to repurchase and it's gonna be expensive. Especially when I feel like I go through face powders quickly because I use a lot of it like I pack it on it has the perfect amount of pigmentation to me because so many face powders I put them on and it just changes the color of my foundation and makes it to whatever color the powder is this one doesn't do that I can put this on top of like whatever foundation and it and my foundation still looks the same but the powder looks right I don't know I think that there's just like not much maybe coverage or pigmentation in this but i love it for that reason and then obviously the nyc smooth skin loose face powder in the shade translucent i like this a lot i also really like my maybelline fit me powders for under my eyes but i've been really pale recently because i've been putting on a bunch of self tanner and this is great for whenever i'm pale because the color of it is super light so it's super brightening under the eyes which i like and the powder just looks good and it's super cheap i like it better than my RCMA powder, and I like it better than the Maybelline finishing white powder. I like it better than my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. This is a tiny one. I don't use this very often because it's super fucking expensive, but also this one is like yellowy, so it's not very brightening for me, I don't think. Okay, next, I wanna mention the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion in the shade 20M. This is my baby. Obviously, I've hit pan on it, which made me stop using it for a little bit, but then I'm like, why would I stop using it? It's dumb. I'll just have to buy a new one. So I've been using it again. Basically, I just love the formula of this. This is like a gel. Ain't that what it's called? I feel like they try to say it's like some kind of gel powder because it doesn't have like any kick up on it. Like I can swirl my brush around in there like crazy and like no powder flies off. So it's like super smooth and it just goes on flawlessly and blends out amazingly okay you, this color is kind of light i feel like so normally whenever i use it i kind of put a deeper color in right here to contour and deepen it up a little bit but this is my favorite um for contouring my nose because it makes it look very not harsh for blush uh i love tarte blushes so instead of specifically mentioning just Tarte blushes, I wanted to say that I love this thing from Tarte. This is a color wheel, Amazonian clay blush palette thing. I don't even know if you can buy this anymore. Basically, if you can't, just know I love all Tarte blushes, but this thing was amazing by them. I love every freaking thing that every one of these that I've used in here, I think is, is amazing. There's a specific shade that I love in here. It's called Concept. It's just a nude color. I do have, um, the blush and sensual which is also a nude color i kind of like this one better though because i feel like more pigmentation comes off of this one just know that it would be a good idea if if they have this it's, it'd be great to get if not be on the lookout for any tarte palette things because every blush that i try from them i love so i feel like i've said this a million times but i love the maybelline master strobing stick this one's in the shade 100 i don't use the other shade it's like straight gold and i don't like that this one's like pinky <sighs> look how much i've used <laughs> it's like almost gone this is perfect to use as a base recently i've been having issues with it being hard to like get this off and onto a brush so i want to say that i love this it's the best thing ever to use as a base for other highlights but i recently got this and i just want to say this might be a better alternative 
I don't know yet. I've used this a few times. It's the Master Strobing Liquid Illuminating Highlighter in the shade 100 again. So it's basically the liquid version of this. So I know that this definitely dries and I've put it over my foundation and it causes no problem. So, I mean, either one is great thus far. And then my fucking baby, the Anastasia Glow Kit in Moonchild. <laughs> this is perfect. I don't know how this could be any better. I love these shades. Specifically Blue Ice, obviously, it's hit Major Pan. And I wish that they had a single in it because I'm gonna have to repurchase the whole thing just for that shade because I love that shade so much. But every other shade is fucking beautiful too. This is the best thing that anyone has ever come out with for highlighting. They're like super metallic, but they have super shimmer and they just look so beautiful. I can't express how much I love this, but if you ever wanna buy anything that has to do with highlighting, get this. Spend the money, please. It's just so good. I was thinking about my favorite lip products of 2016, and I didn't want to specifically say like this line from this brand. I wanted to just say specific colors. So that's what I'm gonna do. And <laughs> all three of them are nude. So first off, I love the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the shade Sandstorm. Perfect, like bronzy nude. It's great. This formula, great. I have like almost every NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick Colors. Like, I have a million. Next is the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick. This one's in the shade Satin Ribbon. This is the prettiest, really light nude shade. If you want um, very light nude, this is gorgeous. And the formula of this, I don't love, but with this shade, it's great. Because since this is such a light nude shade, I feel like the moussey formula of this makes it look very nice on the lips whenever it probably normally wouldn't because of it being so light. I know they just came out with like even more shades in this line and that makes me happy and I need them because I was looking at them. I fell in love with a few. And then lastly, this is just something I found at CVS and I've, I don't think I've ever heard anyone else talk about it, but it's MUA Makeup Academy Liquid Lipstick in the shade Nude. This is a very nice little bit more peachy darker nude. <laughs> I feel like I should put the other nude up on my hand too, just for comparison's sake. And that's the darker one, that's the NYX Liquid Suede. These are the best nudes I have come to find in the year 2016. And I use them often and I love them all so much. This one's more of a whipped moussey formula too, which I don't normally like, but for this shade, I feel like it's very good at making it look really nice on the lips. Okay, so I think that is all for this video. So if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll be back soon with more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.